Let's work through this polynomials practice test found at provincialexam.ca. Question number one, factor this. Begin with the numbers. We have four, 12, and six. What's the GCF? What's the greatest common factor? The highest number that fits into four, 12, and six is the number two. Now look at the first variable. It could be A, B, C. Here we're dealing with A. If it was X, Y, Z, we'd be dealing with X. Let's look at the A's. What's the lowest index? We have a three here, a two here, and a two here. It's gonna be A squared. That's the lowest index. This is the GCF. Now let's begin with the B's. We have B to the four, B to the three, and B squared. The two is the lowest index, so we're gonna use this as the exponent. This happens to be the GCF. Next, let's choose C. We have the index or the exponent two, three, sorry, two, two, and one. C is the same thing as C to the one. So C to the one or C is the GCF. So this entire result is the GCF of these three terms. So I'm gonna have a nice big bracket here. And I'm gonna reconstruct these individual terms. This times what becomes this first term? Let's begin by looking at the number. Two times what is four? It's gonna be two times two is four. A squared times what is A cubed? It's gonna be A. B squared times what is B to the four? It's gonna be B squared because when we multiply with the same base, we simply add the exponents. Two plus two is four, resulting in B to the four. C times what becomes C squared? Becomes C. If you think about it, this is C to the one, and exponent rule says, says that one plus one is two. That's what we get here, C squared. So let's work on the second term here. Two times what is negative 12? It's negative six. A squared times one becomes A squared, so there's no reason to write times one. B squared times what becomes B cubed? It's times B. Remember that B squared times B to the one, when you add the exponents, becomes three. C times what is C squared? C times C is C squared. Finally, let's work on the last term. Two times what is positive six? Two times three is six. A squared is already there, so there's nothing to put there. B squared times what is B squared? It's, it's one, so we'll leave that alone. And C times what is C? C times one is C. So there's no reason to write times one here because anything times one is itself. So we'll just leave it like that. So this here is the factored form and we're given the hint that only one factoring step is required and we factored this out already. So we're done. It would be nice to check this to see if we can factor further, but given the hint, we're done.